The Angel, starring Betty White, Bill Williams as Gus Angel, presented by Limo, star of The Forward Look, and the Plymouth Dealers of America. The time, eight months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The plot, there's no such thing as a miserable Santa Claus. The main character, there's no such... Well, with one possible exception. Noel, 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 You hold your finger right there, Mr. Finley. Noel, 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 Hi, honey. Sweetheart, I had no idea it was that late. A lot better than traffic. <laughs> oh, with Mr. Finley just being neighborly, he's helping me wrap Christmas packages. Oh, uh, we appreciate you coming up here and always helping Mrs. Angel, Mr. Finley. Noel. Noel. <laughs> uh, my finger's getting fat, Mrs. Angel. <laughs> oh. Well, that's all right. I got nothing else to do. Now, uh, what's for dinner? I have some stew on the stove. Oh, great. Can I clean the stove for you? Stew can be pretty messy. <laughs> the stew is in a pan on the stove, Mr. Finley. Oh. Is there something else I can do? Well, I don't know what it would be, but thanks anyway. That's what they all say. Nobody needs me. Why, well, that isn't true, Mr. Finley. Yes, it is. Well, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it... <laughs> Mr. Finley, I happen to know that your son counts on you to do chores around the house. Well, you're always watering the lawn or doing housework. Watering the lawn, big deal. <laughs> if you feel you don't have enough to do at home, why don't you get a job? What kind of a job? Well, I'm sure two weeks before Christmas, there are a lot of places that need help. Give me a for instance. Just offhand, I... it depends on what you can do, I guess. Well, when I was a boy, I used to braid buggy whips for the carriage trade. <laughs> Somebody invented a machine. I know. They call it the automobile. No, they call it a buggy whip braiding machine. <laughs> Sweetheart, Mr. Finley's looking for a job. Why? He says he doesn't have enough to do at home. Well, he's always up here helping us. Uh, not much future in that. No, I, I guess not. You know, sweetheart, if Mr. Finley had a regular job, he wouldn't have so much time to be helping us. Honey, I don't think that... Yeah! Uh, have you thought about calling Dolly? Dolly? Why, sure. We have this friend who works at Martindale's department store. They're open evenings. I'll call her right after dinner. Oh, thanks for the invitation, but I gotta get home and cook dinner for my son. He'll be wondering where I am. <laughs> Noel. 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 Vicky, if he's breathing, we can use him down here, honey. <laughs> Wonderful, and thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me, dear. During the Christmas rush, it's Martindale's policy to use anything that can walk, wiggle, or crawl. <laughs> Is it as bad as all that? Vicky, you could use a little extra money. No, thank you. I've met Mr. Wallace. Oh. Well, if you think he's revolting normally, you should see him now. He's been made floor manager of the toy department, and he actually loves it. Well, then he isn't as bad as I thought. He loves it for two reasons. A, he gets a percentage of the department's cut. And B, he gets a chance to be nasty to hundreds of little children. <laughs> Customers are waiting, Mrs. Koenig. I'm recruiting. Mr. Oh, in that case, go right ahead. Let him wait. All right, Vicky, have your friend down here first thing in the morning. I will, Dolly, and thanks a million. Bye, dear. <laughs> Bye. Mr. Wallace, I got another, oh, another victim for you. He'll be down tomorrow. Oh. 
If I hear just one more fa la la, I won't be responsible. Mr. Wallace, doesn't Christmas mean anything to you at all? Oh, let's not get maudlin. <laughs> what about this man? His name is Finley, and he got old without any help from you. <laughs> Holy Santa Claus. I'll put Spencer back in shipping where he belongs. He's a miserable Santa Claus. Mr. Wallace, there is no such thing as a miserable Santa Claus. Oh, now don't you go soft on me. Christmas. That's exactly what I mean, Mrs. Koenig. This is the time when Martindales are supposed to make a little money. Tell me something, Mr. Wallace. Is the first dollar you ever made hanging on your wall? <laughs> Naturally not. It's where it belongs, in the bank, drawing interest. <laughs> what a lovely sentiment. If I don't look out for myself, who will? I respect money because it... Little girl, put that down! Little girl! <laughs> Good morning and Merry Christmas. Ooh. Don't let Mr. Wallace hear you say that around here. Merry Christmas? Even good morning ties him in knots. <laughs> he can't be as bad as all that. He's worse. Where's the new boy you were going to bring down? Well, he's not very new, but he's so anxious to be of help. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, well, here's Casey Jones. <laughs> Glad to know you, Mr. Jones. My name's Finley. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wallace. This is the man I told Dolly about. Why, Mrs. Angel. <laughs> Look, in spite of what you did to Martindale's last time, I'd like to offer you a job as a salesman. Now, at first, it oh, won't be... No, thank you, Mr. Wallace. No, but Mr. Finley here is very anxious to do something useful. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I am, Mr. Jones. But if my boy shows up, throw him out. Why, Mr. Finley? Well, when I told him I was going to work down here, he had one of his tantrums. He's a spoiled brat. <laughs> Kid like that ought to be spanked and sent to bed. He's 37. Huh? If you said something, Mr. Finley, we wouldn't have taken Mr. Wallace's time. Mr. Finley has a perfect right to make up his own mind. Do you want a job? Uh, yes, I do. Well, come on. Get away from those trains. Mr. Wallace is nice to him. Would you say that Mr. Finley is just a few points off magnetic north? <laughs> he just takes everything literally, that's all. Maybe you could explain to Mr. Wallace that he's a sweet old man. Everybody in the neighborhood just loves him. And that he ought to be given the kind of job where he'll feel he's needed. That would touch Mr. Wallace so deeply, he'd fire him on the spot. <laughs> What does Mr. Wallace have planned for him? Oh, well, you'll see. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Finley. Mrs. Angel, where is my father? He tells me you have embroiled him in some enterprise in this store. I must forbid it. Well, he asked for a job, and I helped him get one. I had no idea you'd object. I do not object. I forbid. <laughs> Mrs. Angel, willy-nilly, you have upset the entire routine of my life. I can assure you, I need my father at home. Well, Mr. Finley, I think that's just wonderful. Have you ever told him that in so many words? I have told him repeatedly that when I come home, he must have my supper ready for me. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, doesn't it, doesn't it matter to you that he wants to do something useful? There is nothing more useful to me than having my supper ready for me. <laughs> now, where is he? At this moment, I can truthfully tell you, I don't know. Mrs. Angel, your attitude strikes me as one completely lacking cooperation. Now, will you please tell me where he is? He went that way. <laughs> you just described a 180-degree arc. <laughs> Did I? I will find him myself. 
Mrs. Angel, it pains me to discover that you have absolutely no Christmas spirit. What? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Thank you. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. No. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Can't you do anything with him? He sounds like he's coughing. I am. It's hot in here. Oh, you're a beautiful Santa. Well, I hope the children like me. Oh, they will. They... Oh, incidentally, your son is very upset about your being here. Well, that's tough. Uh, where do I work, Mr. Jones? <laughs> Mr. Watt. Never mind. Right over here. Oh, and for heaven's sake, work on your ho-ho-hos. I'll get away from these trains. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Well, I guess I can't be mother hen to him all day. Oh, well, I'll try to keep an eye on him. Where are you headed? The bank. We have a list of presents a mile long. Gus and I are going to get some gifts and toys for the nieces and nephews later on. And... Well, I hope he lasts out the day. I know how Mr. Wallace can be. Keep hoping Christmas will catch up with them. Maybe today's the day. Mom, Mom! Come back here, you little piece of delinquent. Come here. That's a display. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace in toys. Uh, send me up three dozen more dolls, number 71, two dozen train sets, number 12X, and all the model airplanes you've got. We've finally got a Santa Claus here stirring up a little business. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Next. I was told that my father worked in this department. His name is Finley, as is mine. I see. I want him removed. Finley, Finley, Finley. I was told he was here. Finley, of course. Tropical fish, second floor. <laughs> Personnel told me he was here. Well, he is. Are you lost, little girl? I said, are you lost, little girl? What is your name? Is she lost? She doesn't answer. Perhaps she's a foreigner. <laughs> Was ist dein Name? That means, are you lost? That means, what's your name? <laughs> Now, I assume you have departments to take care of situations like this. I must find my father. For goodness sake, little girl, I have other things to do here. Now, just tell me your name so I can find your stupid, so I can find your mother. Oh, I'd, I'd like to have you meet my husband. This is Mr. Wallace, huh? Oh, how do you do? How do you do, sir? Well, hi there. What's your name, sweetheart? Ginger. Huh? Well, are you lost? Where's your mommy? She's lost. <laughs> well, we'll help you find her. Don't you worry, sweetie. What's your last name, honey? 773 Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Caney. Hi, Gus. Welcome to Happy Happy Land. We've got another lost child, Mrs. Oh. Caney. Make the usual announcements. Her name is Susan. Susan. We have a lost little girl named Susan. Will Susan's mother please pick her up in Santa Claus land? We ought to be kept on a leash. Do you know that 50%... Now get away from those trains! He hates any human being under four foot three. All right, Susan, let's go see Santa Claus and wait for Mommy. Oh, oh well, I'll take her, Dolly. I want to see how Mr. Finley's doing anyway. Oh, he's doing fine. He is? We've moved three times as many things today as we did yesterday. 
I'll start looking around for some presents for the kids. Where do you keep the nephew type toys? Out of reach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Susan, you go with Vicky, dear. Come on, darling. <laughs> oh, golly, how will I know Susan's mother when I see her? She'll be spanking Susan. <laughs> no, she won't. I'm going to explain the whole thing to her. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll see you later. Come on, darling, we can't stop if we're going to find your... Susan, look at her. Isn't that the cute? And look, her little dress all on snaps there. And here's her little bonnet. And here's her petticoat. Oh. And here's her slippers. And here's her price tag. <laughs> you two little girls mustn't keep Santa waiting. Sorry, Susan. Come on, darling. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. There's <laughs> been a good little girl. I, uh... Oh, Santa, here's... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> here's a little jolly for you. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Santa, this is Susan. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart, this is Santa Claus. Do you know him? Why, we're old friends. Yeah, hello, Susan. When did you have her? <laughs> We're looking for her mommy. Oh. Edie, why don't you go down to the end of the line there, and you can tell Santa what you want, all right? I'll be all right. All right. Next boy. Well, well. Fern, what do you want to have for Christmas, young fella? You're not a real Santa Claus. Of course not. The real Santa's at the North Pole. I work for him. Oh. What do you want for Christmas? A train. A train. Well, now, see about that. You're up. Can I have it? Sure. Look what Santa gave me. Oh, great. Okay, Santa, where do I pay for this? Oh, since when does Santa Claus charge? You mean... Oh, well, Merry Christmas, Santa. Come on, oh, 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 next little girl. <laughs> well, well, here's a nice little girl. What do you want for Christmas? I believe I was next. <laughs> Having fun? There's a little hoyden in all of us. The freight train won't run. Put it back on the track. Oh, sure. Oh, uh, it's off the track. <laughs> Naturally, that's why it won't run. Mm -hmm. It may interest you to know the tropical fish never heard of my father. <laughs> oh? Personnel tells me he works for you. Where is he? Oh, didn't you know he's Santa Claus? He's right over there. Well, I'll be right with you. Look, you can't take my Santa Claus. I need him. So do I. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Gee, hey, Misty, thank goodness you're here. Can you stay with Susan? I've got to find Dolly. Sure, what's up? Mr. Finley's giving toys away. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. Darling, you stay here. I'm, Uncle Gus will be right over here when you get through talking to Santa. Now, I'll be right back and see Mommy comes, okay? Okay. Bye. Father, I want to talk to you. I'll go to the end of the line, Sonny. <laughs> I want to talk to you right now. We must take a turn. That's the only fair way. Father? <laughs> Here's a dolly for you. Next. Is there a little girl named Susan here? Oh, yes, ma'am, right there. Hello, Susan. Honey, your mother's looking all over for you. Come along. Ah, uh, can't she wait to see Santa? She's next. Oh, I guess so. Thank you. Let me see your sales book, Mrs. King. We ought to be breaking some sort of a record. Oh, bully for us. <laughs> Is this all you've sold? Every red set, including your percentage. Well, who's been selling all the dolls and trains? This must be one of the other girls, not on. Hmm.
golly. Mm -hmm. We have some figuring out to do. What? Mr. Finley's giving away toys. Oh. The big ones, dolls and trains. Oh, we've got to stop him. Oh, please don't tell Mr. Wallace yet. But we should be able to figure something out. We can't hurt him, Dolly. Hurt him? Mr. Wallace will have him flogged from here to the mezzanine. <laughs> Does he know? He's finding out awfully fast. Three girls, dolls, seven dozen trains. Uh, 14. If I didn't know better, I'd swear we were giving this stuff away. <laughs> you are. Well, what do you mean, Mrs. Angel? Well, Mr. Finley thinks he's Santa Claus. He really thinks it. So he's giving the toys away. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll kill him. No, please. Mr. Mr. Wallace, please. He's a good, kind man. I, I just couldn't bear to see him hurt. He's being good and kind with Martindale property. But he has no idea he's doing anything wrong. My husband and I don't have much money, but... Why, I wouldn't let you pay for it if you offered. It's his mistake, and he'll take the consequences. Oh, well, please, Mr. Wallace, maybe if you just told him not to do it anymore. Oh, he'll be told all right. <laughs> That's not all he'll be told. Mr. Wallace! Becky, no use. Look, I think I've got an idea. Why? Come on, I'll call Mr. Martin. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You do that good. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Do my best. Yeah. I want to talk to you. Uh, go to the end of the line, Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> you want a dolly? Yes. Yes, sir. Here's a dolly for you. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Mr. Jones. He made a deal with Santa Claus. Thank you, Mr. Jones. You know, Sonny, you're making a lot of children mighty happy. There ought to be more people like you in this world. Well, that's that. I guess Mr. Martindale's out spying on the May Company. Well, maybe we could try once more to make Mr. Wallace understand. The only thing Mr. Wallace understands is compound interest. Losing his job is what's going to hurt Mr. Finley. Getting soaked for all those smackers isn't exactly going to... Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, what, what? Accounting department, Wallace and Toys. You're going to find the shortage of about $400 in my department. No, no, nothing like that. Don't be concerned, it'll be covered. I'll give you my personal check for the full amount. drive you home in the car when you're through work. Fine. I'll be a good boy, Sonny. <laughs> I'll try. Merry Christmas, Mr. Nick. I hate to go without at least thanking Mr. Wong. That was a very nice thing he did. Yeah, but the worst thing he could...
Got a date with an angel, going to meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel, and I'm on my way to heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, your Plymouth dealer invites you to watch the Lawrence Welk program, Top Tunes, and you tell it on this same network. Tom Kennedy speaking. Good night, everybody. Good night.